What is up guys, it is Tony here and I am glad to bring back gaming computer builds. We're going to be doing these every Friday, uh, so get ready for these videos to start streaming back into your subscription boxes. Now, today we are doing a streaming machine as I am calling it, which is basically a uh, moderately expensive um, streaming PC in the mid 1000s. This one's about 1750 and it's actually a machine I am working on building right now for myself. Uh, some of these parts I already have and I find them to be very reliable uh, and some of these parts are just very you know smart parts to get very essential very good value and things like that and this is all around a PC built for streaming and gaming and also at the same time uh, being good for editing YouTube videos and things like that it's an all-in-one production PC um, for gaming videos and gaming content so let's go ahead and get into the build so first off for the processor, we're going to go with the Haswell chips. We're going to go with the 4770K. Reason being is it has hyper threading. It's unlocked. This is going to give you a lot of processing power for running streaming applications like OBS and editing. For the motherboard, we're just going to go with something that can easily handle that processor, handle overclocking on that processor, and can also handle SLI uh, if you decide to do that. It's just a $105 board, very affordable, very great value. For the RAM, we're just going to go with some value memory here, um, something just to bring down the cost a bit. Uh, I personally don't like to go for the higher speed memory because it doesn't really benefit stuff as much as you'd think it would, uh, but this is a great value and very good quantity and could be upgraded down the road. For the graphics card, we're going to go with the EVGA GTX 980, which is the super clocked edition. Um, I like these cards because they have great warranties. Um, for overclocking and they're just extremely powerful and EVGA is my favorite brand. The storage we're gonna go with first an SSD with 500 gigabytes of storage. Point of this is just to put windows on it, put all your games on it, your programs, um, and just load that up and get nice boot speeds and load speeds in general. And then we're gonna go with a two terabyte um, hybrid drive for uh, storing recordings of files, um, any sort of stock footage and things like that. Um, any sort of graphics, etc, etc. For the power supply, we're going to go with the Corsair 850 watt um, RM850 power supply. This is 80 plus gold certified, fully modular. It's a really good power supply. I actually just picked one up and I just love everything about it. For the case, we're going to go with the Cooler Master High Airflow. Um, I'm either going to go with this or the High Airflow X for my personal build, but these are really cool cases. Uh, great brand, great airflow, and all around just a great value for the money. So there you go. That is the build. This is the streaming machine, as I've dubbed it. It's basically just the best value without overspending um, to allow you to do some uh, high-spec gaming, uh, max out your graphics, get great frame rates, and stream it at the same time, and also record and edit videos for YouTube or any other um, sort of gaming production for entertainment. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment below. Uh, you can comment below any sort of suggestions or uh, any sort of types of builds you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, your build, say you're trying to do a $1,000 build soon, uh, your budget may get um, created in a video in the near future. So go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and are happy to see these videos back. They will be coming every single Friday and possibly you may even get two a week um, on certain weeks. So that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.